Before his death, Genghis Khan leaves his third son, Ogedai, as sole heir to his empire. And on the 13th of September, 1229, Ogedai succeeds his father in a sense to Supreme Khan. Genghis Khan's proclamation ensured that there would be no question of Ogedai's legitimacy. And as many Mongols during his time, he was raised as a warrior. And as a son of the great Khan, he shared in his father's plan to establish a world empire. Ogedai continued where his father had left off in wage war on all fronts. During his reign, he would conquer the rest of Persia, Korea, and see the destruction of the Jin dynasty. While all this was happening, Ogadai sends two generals west at the head of an army to begin the Mongol invasion of Europe. Nearly a two decade long war against East Europe has resulted in the submission of the Russian principalities to Mongol rule. The Mongol Empire was ready to move in further into the European continent. The invasion force sent west was under the overall command of Batu, the grandson of Genghis Khan. But Subutai, an already accomplished general, was the main strategist and commander in the field. The force invaded Central Europe, split into three armies. The first army was sent through Poland in order to withhold any possible attacks from the north. They would meet a combined European force led by the High Duke of Poland, Henry II, at the Battle of Legnica, which would see the defender's army nearly wiped out, with Henry II himself falling in battle. The second army invaded through Transylvania, defeating the Hungarian resistance there. The third and main army was led by Batu and Subutai, an attack through the Varic Pass, defeating the army led by Count Palatine. The three armies then regrouped to push further into Hungary. The remaining Hungarian resistance, led by King Bela IV, gathered near the Saho River to rest and gather supplies after a week of forced marches and frequent raiding parties. Unknown to them, they were about to take part in the largest engagement yet known to history as the Battle of Mohi. King Bela ordered a wall of wagons to be put around the camp for fortifications. The night before the main battle, the Mongols attempted to cross the bridge but were caught out by Hungarian crossbowmen initiating a Mongol retreat. The Hungarians left a small force behind to guard the bridge, unaware that the main Mongol force was among them. It was unlikely that the Mongols wanted to engage in a battle by crossing a river and attacking a fortified camp, but the failed crossing prompted Subutai to change plans. 11th of April, 1241, the morning of the battle, Subutai sends a force north to a shallow spot on the river to cross while he went south to make a makeshift bridge. In the center, Batu ordered stone throwers to attack and distract the crossed moman guarding the bridge. The northern troops arrived after successfully crossing the river, which prompted the bridge defenders to retreat to their camp. The Hungarian camp, believing that this was a mere raiding party, sends a force led by the king's brother, Koloman, out to meet the attackers. But Koloman soon realized that they were facing the main Mongol army and retreated back to the camp to warn them. This delay bought more time for Subutai to cross the river. The main Hungarian force now marched out of their camp and attacked Batu's detachment. The Mongol force, with their backs to the river, struggled against the Hungarian offensive. During the height of the battle, Subutai finally arrived and attacked the Hungarian rear flank, resulting in their retreat back to camp. The Hungarian offensive took a major toll on Batu's detachment, but Subutai remained determined to resume the offensive and refused to retreat, and the Mongol army surrounded the camp and began to bombard the encampment with catapults while archers shot flaming arrows. It's also speculated that gunpowder weapons from China were used. Inside the camp, Koloman rallies enough men to charge the Mongols, but his charge was driven back. The fire caused by the arrows began panic in the Hungarian camp. The now demoralized Hungarians began to flee through a gap purposely left open by the Mongols, exactly for this purpose, and the Mongol soldiers began to slaughter most of the fleeing soldiers. During the chaotic rout, King Bela and his brother Koloman managed to escape, but Koloman would die from his wounds a few weeks later. The Mongol casualties were heavy, but nothing compared to Hungary's losses. Most of the force led by King Bela have been wiped out. It was the last major resistance in Eastern Europe, opening the door to the West. The invasion left Hungary devastated. Around 15 to 25% of the population were now dead and half of the inhabited places laid in ruins. 
Subutai began his preparations and marched towards Vienna, but the RNG of history would have it another way. On the 11th of December 1241, Ogedai dies, most likely of alcoholism. Subutai's expansion west is halted and the army retreats back as Batu is recalled to participate in the election of a new Khan, effectively marking the end to the Mongol advance into Europe. Hello everyone, this is Reply History, and I want to announce that I got a new Patreon page. I love making these videos, and if you like them too and want to see more frequently, then head on over to patreon.com slash replyhistory to become a patron. All the work in these videos are done by me, and any kind of contribution will be appreciated. And remember, you can suggest the next topic on my Twitter or in the comments. Until next time, this was Reply History.